Good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, David's Cooking Show and Kitchen. I'm David, the American original, David Sponheim. Welcome. I am here to bring you a, an amazing dinner. That's right. The dinner will be Swiss chard burgers. And you're going, what are Swiss chard burgers? Well, with rice, we've got Swiss chard. I picked up some organic Swiss chard at the market and I need to eat it up. And Sarah has been making Swiss chard in the garden at her school. We got like four bags of this stuff, so I have to eat it up. So this is basically a, a $1 swash of Swiss chard. You can get this anywhere. Then we found a bulk burger supply. Let's put this in here. in which I got three burgers, patties, we're talking Angus ground ground, and I put that together out of this bag right here. Eighteen ninety nine at at Costco for uh, about 20 burgers. Yeah, quarter pound each. Angus ground beef patties. Yeah, 100% fresh beef. So this looks good. Very tender. I've already pre tasted it. I had this last night, the same dinner. Hey, my coffee's uh, getting done here. Let's show that to you guys. Ta da! Mr. Coffee to the rescue! Yay! I'm gonna pour myself a big cup of coffee, and uh, what I do is I store it in the, in the thermos. Oh, I still had some from last night. You can't really see it. Let me show it to you. That's organic coffee. Fantastic. I slow brew it. And I like these old fashioned thermoses. This thermos actually makes it uh, stay hot for a while. If at a party here, people can have hot coffee. Yeah. I keep this in the thermos for uh, posterity. And I normally have a cup that goes over it, but my cup runneth over. I'll find that later. Uh, yeah, so back to the uh, main part of the meal. These uh, three patties will be in the meal. That's three dollars, and uh, we're talking. Yeah, the Swiss chard is one dollar. That's four dollars, and then I'm going to I'm going to actually add a package of organic brown rice. Now I get these for a dollar a piece when I buy them in bulk at Trader Joe's, but they're pre-frozen so you can actually put them on a hot dish. They're already pre-made. Normally rice takes hour, an hour to cook. This is already pre-made frozen. The O-Bran has something as well. This is available at, at Safeway stores and Albertsons and other stores. Uh, this is a really good product. It's already pre-made and shrink wrapped and it's actually perfectly good stored in a closet if you're looking for long-term storage. Okay, I'm going to have some of that coffee. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Enough to get you going. You can really taste the uh, clarity of the, the organic coffee. There's no, no impurities. I actually filter the water going into my coffee maker. Okay, uh, you're a transgender, Logan Act says, and he wants to know if there's anything compatible in my recipe with your hormone injections. You know, as much as I'm not LGBTQ friendly, I understand your problem. I would seriously reduce your soy intake. Yeah. We got a hot dog salesman in here who can't get a job because de Blasio won't allow hot dogs in New York. You're out of here. Yeah. I'd love to have, have some coffee with you, but let's just pretend you're here with me. Yeah, I'd say it's Christmas in July, but it's actually Christmas in August for me. 
Okay, so no onions today. I'm just going to use uh, chives. I've got some chives here that I've got to eat up. Got these for 25 cents. So I'm going to use some uh, Italian seasoning. I bought this for a dollar. Very simple ingredients. Uh, I do have some extra old vegetables that need to be eaten up, so I've got a little of that, some cauliflower, and some zucchini. I'm going to put that in the rice. Again, if you want to start with an onion like I normally do, I would gladly do that, but I can't do that. Yeah, you, you've got a raquette coquille, sent a I No, that's not what I'm making. Nope. Wrong. All right, so let's move on to the next step, which is me actually turning on the pan. So let's get that going. Let me put this over here. I'm gonna put it at level three. Get that heated up. I'm gonna throw a little oil in there, some butter, and I'm gonna put the Italian seasoning on the patty itself. Yeah, I'm going to start Italian seasoning the patty and I'm going to cook it right now. Those patties are barely almost frozen. I just pulled them out a little while ago, so just have to be slightly defrosted to, to actually cook this meal. And that's what makes it easy when you're, you're home from a long day of not working. You know, say you're at the uh, unemployment collection office the whole day wondering if you get your check still. This gives you a chance to come home and act like you're important and feel like you're you're doing something, you know, and and do it easily and, and tell everyone around you, hey, I'm making dinner, you know. You can't you can make this. Yes, you can make this with food stamps. You just can't cook the food stamps. I hear you, man. A lot of people are bringing in the food stamp money right now. Those burgers were, are available at $18.99 at Costco for 20 burgers. It's hard to find meat at a cheap price. Yeah, if you were more like me, you would get a woman like Sarah. I'm a very easygoing person, uh, you know, and you have to, it's a numbers game, guys. You really have to go out and start dating. I know you, some of you incels are afraid to ask anybody out. That's a big barrier, I know. Start talking to people in in restaurants and salad bars. And, yeah, they used to call me Salad Bar Dave back in college, and everybody thought I could get all the women, right? No, not true. The one woman I, I was really interested was really playing coy with me, and I could never get her. And I'll tell you, that's the smartest thing I ever did. Well. I, I could have gone to the first base with her and kissed her. I was at, there was a moment we were laying next to each other in, in the dorm room and I, I could have kissed her, but I didn't. And that, had I kissed her, that, that would have, my heart would have gone into the toilet because she was not interested. She had like four other guys she was stringing along. Yeah, but, but people had this impression I was getting all the women. Well, I could get any woman I could I actually talk to, if, you know, with a personality that's really easygoing. You can, but the one woman that I, really set me off was the one woman I really wanted back in college, and I, I'm so glad I didn't get anything. Because had I, I locked in on that one kiss, that would have been it. So you're saving yourself from a lot of grief, a lot of incels, by not actually talking to someone to the point where you're kissing them, unless you're sure that they're on the same page you are. And if for some reason they're not, that could hurt you. So I know the biggest thing you're worried about is being hurt, right? Yeah, I know. Well, I was smart not to kiss her. All right, moving on. That's getting hot. Temperature at three. I'm gonna throw a little oil on this. About three, te three teaspoons is about all I do. Okay, just take a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning and chives, and we're going to put that chives right on the meat. Let me enlarge this pagoda for you. Yeah. 
the meat's the first thing you want to start. And check out this garlic bag I picked up. We got these dried garlics on the road. I've never seen this product before. I'm going to try it in my meal. Normally I cook with fresh garlic. You can do that in this meal. A little bit of chives on the burger themselves, like there. And that actually sends its seasoning right into the meat. You do not want to salt the meat ahead of time. Salt will actually toughen up meat of any kind. Do it toward the end of the cooking cycle. So I'm just going to splash a little bit of a Italian seasoning on the backs of these. Very basic. Again, no salt. You can use onion powder, garlic powder, but no salt. I'm going to put those face down in the dish. I'm going to move them around so the oil is on the other side. All right. Make sure all the oil is distributed evenly, fairly. All right. And you can do the same with the other side. Is put uh, a lot of a lot of chives on there and a lot of Italian seasoning. And if you don't have chives, of course, you can use an onion and garlic, fresh garlic, fresh onion. I'm going to use about, a, I'd say, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and a half a teaspoon of chives. All right, cool. I'll let that cook. Yeah, I picked up some amazing spices recently. Uh, Yeah, this is from New York, Fiesta Mix. I bought this at the Turnpike. It's from New York, it's handcrafted with uh, or organic garlic, curry, cumin, onion, cayenne, oregano. No curry, scratch curry. Yellow, yellow onion. Okay, yellow onion. I'm going to try some of that, uh, kind of a spice mix in the, the dinner tonight. Yeah. Sarah was 20 when we met. Uh, no, these. this was an aftermarket product, Hot Rails. I was at the uh, New York State Turnpike, and I pulled into this really cool little uh, gift shop. And the ladies had all kinds of things. This is called Rocker Box Spice Company. Rocker box, pretty cool. A lot of people have uh, small cottage industries making these kinds of things. I even bought their uh, their dried onions too. I got these two products for like three dollars. It was like a fifty percent sale. It's pretty good. All right. I think we picked up this at one of those uh, locations too. Crispy garlic. I, I've never seen this product. It's amazing. For potatoes, casseroles, vegetables, we're going to try some of that tonight. Okay, so I'm just cooking those at level three right now. And what I'm going to do is try to glaze the base. Yeah, but I can put some uh, other vegetables around there at the base, like the zucchini and the cauliflower. So I'll chop that up right now, washing off the zucchini and the cauliflower. I just have a little cauliflower left. The stock is very good for you. I thought this might be a good mix. The stock is a, a carbo alternative in case you're ever uh, interested in having non-carbonated or non-carbos. I know we're putting rice in here, but people are using uh, cauliflower flakes as part of a carbo carbohydrate. So the only unedible part is this leafy stuff. You can throw that out the compost, but the stock and everything in there is all very edible. We'll put that at the base of the dish with the uh, hamburger. And I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, let me reduce the size of this. I'm going to get Meow TV's knife. He was kind enough to send these knives to us. These are uh, 
Yeah, Syrian Damask steel. 67 layers of steel put into these knives. Isn't that amazing? Very cool gift he gave us last Christmas. Did not expect that. So I'll get a chopping block here. We'll test my little sharp ability at the chopping station. Okay, I'm moving this up a little bit. It's a nice uh, little photograph of a, a zucchini. A zucchini. zucchini top chopped. I am going to now quickly chop the uh, cauliflower. That's just gently. You can kind of massage it into chunks. The stalk has to be cut small. Okay, great. That was good use of that. Nice, thank you. More coffee. Tom, cauliflower, hot rails. Cauliflower is very good for you. Yeah. Get with the program, man. Look at how beautiful those vegetables look. And they're good for you. And you know, best of all, you're looking at the best of both worlds. Italian seasoning goes really well with zucchini and cauliflower. And you're getting the cruciferous vegetables that give you vitality and improve your immune system. Uh, the cruciferous vegetables are what keep away car carcinogenic material from attacking your, your body. It restores your cell health. Yeah, you need to rethink your ways because you're the guy that keeps screaming about pork. Why don't you start eating well and start eating vitamins? Yeah. People are saying, David, you seem like a robot. It's ridiculous. How can I appear like a robot when I'm clearly human? David, I have four kids and I have to feed them all with very little money. Okay, what you do is feed them each a half a burger. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. That'll be enough protein for them. You can make six meals out of this dinner, Susan Bead. Yeah, I am not a cybernetic organism. That is ridiculous. Hey, would you like to look at my kitchen? We've got a few new things in, the, in David's kitchen. It's getting kind of cluttered. Oh, it's very cluttered. I've got the, uh, the succulent plants here. They're really cool uh, blue glass. And I've got my collection of garlic in my stainless steel can cans here. Isn't that great? We brought that back from the safe house. Our metalware. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put that, uh, those burgers are going to flip in just a second. See, it's boiling really well. You see that? You don't want to boil. You, just, you really get that point where you, you don't want to boil. I'm going to flip the burgers. They're almost done, really. I mean, they're just starting to get done. But then you put all your vegetables around them like that. Now I don't care if you've got onions and carrots, I don't care what you put in here. It doesn't matter to me. But always add a little extra Italian seasoning to the top of this. Here you go. Cover that up while it continues to simmer. Yes. Hello. Thank you, Tom. Okay, we got a little compost going in the compost heap. And I'm going to pull out this organic chard I've got here. 
bought this at the store and then I found out Sarah's growing it in the garden. But you'd think all this chard would not fit in that container, but it will. Take that handy knife of Meow TVs. Yeah, it was a very nice gift, I must say. It's, you know, kind of shocking. Of course, we got a really nice gift from Scissor Fight that year. He brought it, he gave us a microphone, a lapel microphone. And a, uh, yeah. And also two wooden pens that he made himself. I'm over here, guys. Thanks. Yeah, these are really easy to cut. Sometimes you get a little weirdness on the edge, like right here. You can't really see that. Uh, so it's got kind of a weird... Sometimes you have to pull that off. Whenever that happens, that's slimy. You don't want that in your meal. Otherwise, you're good. I've taken bunch of this up with my hands, like that. Just go even slices, like this. Chard is the best possible vegetable for you. It's full of vitamins, calcium. As good as beet greens, but better in some ways. Now, some people use the base to cook with. I do not. You can toss this section right here, the stock. All right. Taking the same pan and uh, putting it, uh, lifting the cover for a bit, I'm going to take the entire chard and put it right on top of it. Okay? And again, a little more Italian seasoning. And cover it right up. Now this dinner does not have a lot of salt in it right now, and we're going to use salt toward the end of the dinner. I'm also going to be adding some Swiss cheese to the top of the burgers, which I factored into my cost ratio. Yeah, so let me get that off the screen. I know you thought I was going to chard the burgers, but hey, you know, that's kind of deceptive, I know. But Swiss chard really is a really wonderful accompaniment to burgers. And you can put these on a bun if you want. I just wouldn't, you know. I'm going to go with a rice mix. No, I've never had that, uh, Hot Rails. Yeah. David, put a shard up your beep, beep. Beep. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. You're you've been muted, Zenu. David likes to get that off the screen, and Sophie likes to get off on the screen. What are you writing? That sounds very weird. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for hanging out in David's kitchen. Hey, we reached the half hour mark. I don't do unban alls. Not after Melko told me that when I do that, he thinks I want him to, to hang out in the room. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. That's not a, a, an invitation for people to attack us and stalk us. I'm not sure where you're going with that, other than up your you know what. Yeah, that's not appropriate. Uh, double cross, yeah, a yummy food. Yeah, yummy food. Uh, slowly. Burgers take about a day and a half to migrate through your colon. Looks like I need to do something with my hair tonight. I'm going to have to switch sides on my, on my reveal in the other room. First statement, not appropriate. Second statement, very inappropriate. You've been muted. It's not greasy. I just washed it. Now, I just put a little of... Uh, uh, moose in it. Yeah, let me run my fingers through it. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. I think I should reverse sides on, on the hair. Let's go the other way. Yeah, this side doesn't usually work for the show. No, it's my real hair. By exercising in place, we work out during our cooking schedule.
I'm never inviting Mark here to this. There's no way. No. The guy has DDoSed us. Or not him personally, but others. Yeah. DDoS, DDoS. He's conscripted others to bother us and dox us, according to others. By running in place, you can work off calories during your cooking cycle. Okay, now you're wondering, what am I going to start cooking, Dave? Thanks, Double Cross. More compost for the compost heap. Yeah, we have to be careful. Our compost can attract rats. You got to make sure your compost is not actually accessible to rats. Rats are very bad. Yeah. The only problem with compost is rats. I think I made myself very clear. Hey, that rice, by the way, uh, that needs to be microwaved. Let me see if I can run the microwave and do the show. This is a self-venting bag. Place this side down for about three minutes in the microwave. The bag must balloon up to for about 20 to 40 seconds. So I'll throw it in there. I'm going to stand away from the microwave. See, tell me if the signal degrades. Then I'll know if my microwave is leaking. Well, it technically is a double wide, but it's also a triple wide. And it's a quadruple wide, too. Screen just went black. Okay. Okay. We're going to pass on the microwave. We're going to go ahead and try something different. It's, it's really frozen the package. This takes a little effort, but watch what I do. I got some Swiss cheese here. Uh, I added to the recipe. You can use Parmesan if you want. Some Finlandia. So this is an entirely Swiss dish. Swiss cheese, Swiss chard, Swiss burger. Yes. I don't gain weight, no. My weight is perfectly set at a certain margin. To maintain my appearance, I look a little heavier on camera. I am not fat at all. My sculpted physique is seen in behind the shirt. Take three slices of Swiss cheese. No, I only weigh like 225. God. I am, I'm almost sculpted to the point where you can barely even see my mainframe. The exoskeleton is not visible to your naked eye. I used to wonder how this was made and I found out that Martians make this on the moon. I always wondered, you know. It became evident to me that Martians are actually on the moon through the Swiss cheese dimension. I'm kidding, of course. Okay, so you're here right now. You want to look at this. Let me take your eyes away from the, the dancing ball. Take your eyes away from the dancing ball. Prepare to watch the show. Okay, you're going to see me go down to the bottom of this pan and pull up the meat and rotate the meat on top of the vegetables. Pull up the meat, reversing the position of the meat. Put the meat on top of the vegetables. Press firmly down on the vegetables. Positioning the meat on top of the vegetables. Take the three slices of cheese and place them strategically on top of the meat. Cover the dish. Turn the temperature to low Add seasoning, 
I'm going to add a little spice to the dish. Not necessarily in that order. All right. Oh, you almost saw my house. <laughs> it's such a mess. That was not a lot of chili powder. Well, it, it was about a teaspoon. Russian troll, you have been removed from the show. You are not allowed here. If some of the moves are slow motion, it's because my body is able to extrapolate slower motion. Similarly, I can speed up motion. Did you see some pictures of my feet there just now? What? I have no idea. Hey, what's going on? Story just broke on TMZ. David, is it true that there's a warrant? No. Boy, you really are out. Zeno, how could we possibly let you in the show? You're terrible, and so are you. I know, I had to eliminate a couple trolls. Susan, if you continue with this line of crap, you will be removed from the show. The nice thing is, I've got to put the rice on top of this dish, okay? So what I'm going to do is take and move the entire meal into one corner and then bring in some of the vegetables. Now if you want to microwave out, you can, but look at how nice this dish looks. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Taking the meat, putting it on one side, and pulling the vegetables in here like that, underneath. I'm going to throw a little of that garlic on top. Now is the time to add garlic. Hello. Nice dry garlic. Any fresh will do too. Press down on the garlic, put the rice on top of that. Continue cooking at low. All right, we will be looking at a complete meal ready to serve in 10 minutes. What I will do is once the rice thoroughly steams, it'll be fresh right out of the package. And this is also another brand that is made that's already pre-cooked, the O brand. Safeway makes this. It's called O Organics. And it is fantastic. These are like $1.50. The frozen one I showed you from Trader Joe's was a dollar. Isn't it amazing? You are not allowed to use the N-word in the show. This is a bannable offense. You have been taken out of commission. Okay. I'll be purged New York EMT. He's, he, he behaves too well. He's wondering why he's not getting attention. I know. I know. He's, he's trolling us. It's wrong. And it's just, it's evil, frankly. This is really good food. Yeah. I'm going to present it for you on a plate. Okay, now I didn't tell you the final segment of this steam fry se sequence. What you need to do is now turn your temperature up to medium high. At any time during the cooking process, you can also use butter. You can also use your salt shaker. If some of you are salt sensitive, I understand, and you may not want to use your salt shaker. One of the things I do is I have organic soy that I uh, purchased from Bragg. 
I hate to brag, but it's brag. And non-GMO soy, I'm going to spray a little of this on top. Yeah, the whole dinner. Yeah, here we go. Are you ready? Cook it like you mean it, and then it'll taste good. Now that cook that is going to be really, really fast and hard at the bottom. What you're going to do is you're going to prepare your meal by flipping the entire dish onto itself. Are you ready? Taking my handy dish, which I remember we got this in 1975, I believe. I'm going to put a little water on it just to freshen it up. Are you ready? You remember that it's a really hot flame right now, cooking. Not tap water, no. Everything's filtered. I always use triple filters at all times. You never know, there might be some dirt on the plate. I just like to get the dust off, if you know what I mean. It's not a big deal. Have no fear, you're here. Hey, Tiddly D. Yeah, how's it going, man? Folks, Tiddly D is a Republican who probably voted for uh, Trump, and he he went ahead and gave us a free account last night, a pro account for one month. Thank you, Tiddly D. Well, let's be clear. That's right, and I'm going to make you an honorary op for today. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, he pro out. So now you guys who want to go into guest cam can do that, like Tiddle D. He's in there right now. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put the, my cheese away. Put my spices back. And I'm ready to start flipping that dish. Okay, here we go. Turn the entire thing off completely. You don't have to do this. This is strictly for show. amazing look at this now if you want to pull the burgers up they've got the Swiss cheese on them you can present them as such nice wonderful burgers every one of them a meal unto itself praise you we are done how about that huh how about that let me try some of this cheese Mmm, not bad. Okay, salt and pepper to taste, and you're done, everyone. Thank you, everybody, for coming in and hanging out with our show. We've got a couple people in here, like Tom Selleck, who had to be kicked out, Slippery Slop, Lot Lizard. <laughs> Bannable Lecter. We got a few people uh, trolling our show right now. It happens, yeah. And uh, we're going to be dealing with those people in just a bit. In the meantime, I want to say thank you for all of you watching the show. It's an amazing dinner. You've got Swiss chard, Swiss burgers, Swiss cheese, you name it, all set for dinner. Ready to serve. I'm 
going to place this dish under glass. And voila, the star is born. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. I will be back in the show in about five minutes with our pre-show. Take care. Bye.